Hey Leo, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with another extra love reading. I'm on my love I'm on my last legs, Leo. Um, but I really felt called to bring this reading to you today. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. I thought we're going to take a look at you with all 12 zodiac signs. I will do my best to timestamp the reading, but if you feel called to timestamp it as you're listening, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. I'm going to I'm going to start off by looking at your energy overall or how you're coming through at this time energetically when it comes to love and romance and then we're going to begin the reading. Oh, well then we're going to begin looking at all the the energies of the zodiac signs. And I felt called to do this reading just to show you my appreciation uh, for all the love and the support that you offer here on the channel, Leo. Honestly, it doesn't go unnoticed. So thank you to each and every one of you. You know who you are. Spirit, show us the energy of Leo in love and romance at this time. Show us the main energy of Leo in love and romance at this time. The main energy, please, Spirit. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, we've got the five of wands. <laughs> okay, Leo, there might be a little bit of drama surrounding you when it comes to love and romance. I do have to say, I feel like I'm connecting to a Leo out there that has people fighting and fawning all over you. Okay, whether you realize this or not, there is definitely more than one person here that is vying for your attention or you've got many different admirers okay i want to say right now you're the leo that is the center of attention um they might be secret admirers but i'm telling you there's more than one person around you that is very interested in you that is very attracted to you um, that is very uh, chemically drawn to you now Leo if you don't know what I'm talking about then you might it might be roles reversed it might be you feeling interested in many different people right now so I'm just going to pop that over there and we're going to see uh, how that plays out I've got the overhead light on Leo um, I'm just going to make sure that my camera is straight because there's nothing worse Sorry, there's nothing worse than having a crooked camera. My 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 Virgo in Mars doesn't like a crooked camera. Okay, so we're going to see how this plays out with all the zodiac signs. Um, let's begin. We're going to take a look at Aries first. We're just going to give the cards a bit of a shuffle. And instead of shuffling all the way through the video like I did with Cancer's reading, I think I'm just going to do a really good shuffle and then we'll take it from there. All right. Okay, we're just gonna split the deck. We're gonna start here. Beautiful. All right, Leo, let's take a look at the energy of Aries. So Leo dealing with Aries, oh my goodness, look at this, they're coming in the full. And if you know me here on the channel, uh, Leo, you know that the full represents Aries for me. Okay, so there is an Aries definitely here. There's an Aries here that is admiring you uh, from afar. This would be the Seven of Swords is a secret admirer in my eyes. Okay, there is a secret admirer here. Um, this Aries, I feel like they want to take a risk and let you know how interested they are in you. You are, this is someone who's been fond of you for quite some time here with the Nine of Cups. Okay, you just, you do something for this person. Um, they might feel like you're out of reach or that you're out of their league. But I'm telling you, this energy of this Aries wants to come forward here. Okay, they want to come forward and they want to let you, you know how interested they are in you. And I would even go here with the full as far as um, this Aries is keen to, you know, fight for you. Now, for others, others of you who know who this Aries is, okay, this Aries sees you with the Nine of Cups as a wish fulfillment. 
okay you make this Aries very happy or they want to come in and they want to provide um, some kind of joy and and playfulness and abundance your way this is emotional abundance so this Aries has their heart on putting a bloody big smile on your face okay um, yeah that's what I see here and I feel like with the seven of swords that they're preparing to surprise you okay so I feel like there's an Aries here that is um, is preparing to surprise you with something wonderful that is definitely going to put a smile on your face now they may be viewing you as someone who has options around you so with the fool here they they're sticking their neck out they're going all out um, they're taking some kind of leap of faith because they don't want you to maybe ignore them and choose somebody else at this point does that make sense leo so that's how this person is feeling here all right let's take a look at Taurus so for those of you who are connecting to a Taurus we've got the star card we've got the judgment card okay and we've got the six of swords okay so I'm feeling like with when it comes to this Taurus they would like a second chance here with you they would like to resurrect the connection um, with the star card it's telling me here that this person is desiring a maybe a, a reconciliation or they're desiring to resurrect and heal the current situation or heal the current relationship okay with the six of swords here i feel like there's been some kind of a rift between you and this taurus i feel like maybe Maybe you felt like they were playing too many mind games or maybe the Taurus here with the Five of Wands felt like um, you were playing too many mind games. Um, maybe there was a lot of drama or a lot of intensity between you and this Taurian. But the Six of Swords is telling me here that this Taurus wants to get to calmer waters here with you. They want to leave the troubles of your connection in the past okay and they want to heal and resurrect the relationship okay that's what i'm sensing here i feel that this taurian is still very passionate about you uh leo that's what i'm getting here because the woman in this card she's wearing a red scarf around her it's wrapped around her so to me that is representing this passion uh, that this taurus feels still very much towards you and they're being guided at this time to try and smooth things over here with you okay all right let's take a look at the gemini that you are dealing with okay there's the eight of cups there's the emperor and there's the five of cups interesting so i feel like this gemini feels that there's been a lot of drama surrounding your connection or there's been a lot of mind games surrounding the connection okay i feel like their way of taking charge or taking control or trying to control the situation i feel like that's what what's coming through with the emperor they're trying to be the person that is controlling uh the relationship or trying to get on top of their own emotions right now the way that they're doing this is by kind of just walking away from the connection eight of cups okay so this gemini has turned their back on the current situation because they feel like there's too many mind games or there's too much drama in your relationship and it's leaving them feeling um empty okay it's, it's leaving them feeling empty it's leaving them feeling you know emotionally dissatisfied and I feel like they've had to walk away. This is their way of controlling the situation or staying on top of their emotions. Okay. Does it please them um, to turn their back on you? I would say with the Five of Cups, no, it doesn't please them. They are experiencing sadness at this time. But I also feel like you're connecting to a Gemini that is too proud 
or he's too prideful right now to admit maybe sadness, loss or defeat. Okay. All right. For those of you dealing with a Cancerian, we've got the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, oops, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay. So straight away, Leo, um, I feel like this Cancerian is sensing here that you might be playing games. I don't know why I feel like saying that, but they feel like you're playing too many games. They've needed to walk away um, and reground and regroup and recenter. I do feel with the Four of Pentacles that this Cancerian that you're currently dealing with has withdrawn. Okay, and they've they've done this to protect themselves. I feel like you're dealing with a Cancerian that is quite sensitive. They might be taking the situation personally. Um, they might be seeing that you've got a few admirers surrounding you right now. Um, they they this look this Cancerian feels that you have options, and they're just they're just protecting themselves. They're protecting their heart here. This is a sensitive Cancerian and I feel like the reason why they've withdrawn is to protect their emotions and feelings because they don't want to get hurt. They feel like they feel like if they be vulnerable to you, Leo, that they will hurt themselves, okay, or that they will get hurt. Now, with the Four of Cups, I feel this Cancerian... Um, is acting indifferent towards you you may feel like they don't care or they don't give a damn actually you know what they do this person here in the four of cups is looking in your direction so don't be surprised leo if this person is watching you from a distance or watching you from afar um they do give a damn you might look be looking at them thinking they don't care they don't show it they're acting really indifferent they they're really moody don't know what's going on with them but again i just feel it's because they're trying to hide their feelings be, because they're afraid to get hurt the page of pentacles is here so it's telling me here that there's a, a, an unstable energy within this cancerian so I feel like they're trying to do it to stay on top of their emotions. They're trying to ground themselves because this Cancerian may be feeling very insecure. Maybe there's a little bit of jealousy here. Um, I get maybe there's a bit of jealousy here because the woman in this in this card, she is wearing red. Okay, her whole garment is red, but this Cancerian is not revealing jealousy. Okay, they may be viewing you as maybe entertaining other options or um, paying attention to other people, which is triggering up this jealousy. Again, they're withdrawing and acting indifferent because they don't want to show you that they care when they really do. All right, so let's take a look at the Leo that you're connecting to. All right, we've got the Hermit card, we've got the Six of Pentacles, and we've got the Knight of Pentacles pentacles okay so look in the center here the six of pentacles is equal give and take i feel like and there's a special connection here i'm looking at this figure eight here so to me it's like that infinity symbol um there's a divine connection between you and this leo okay they may be feeling it's very one-sided right now leo they may be feeling like you've uh, turned your back on them or you're pouring all of your energy into someone else or something else right now. I do feel that this Leo has retreated with the Hermit card. I feel like they're doing a little bit of soul searching, Leo. Okay, they've, they've retreated, they've gone within. I don't feel like this Leo is currently talking to you. I, I definitely feel they've turned their back on you. Um, and see, this hermit is looking to the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like the reason why they've stopped doing anything, I don't feel like this Leo is taking action right now. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy. So I don't feel like this Leo is doing anything right now. Um, apart from 
just reflecting and doing a little bit of soul searching. The reason being is because I really do feel with this Six of Pentacles that this Leo feels like they've been very generous with you, uh, but you're not giving the same in return. Okay. Um, so they're trying to figure out what it is that they want here um, with, with this situation or what they want here with this connection. Okay. They're definitely reconsidering um, a new path here with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, let's take a look at the energy between you and the Libran in your life. Mm, okay, so strong energy coming through here. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. This Libran sees you as their soulmate. There is no doubt about it. There is no doubt about it. They see you as their divine counterpart. Um, there is a lot of love growing inside of this Libran for you. Um, they care for you very deeply. And I feel with the Seven of Wands that this Libran is very protective of your relationship. Okay, if you're just currently seeing each other right now, they're starting to grow more and more protective uh, of your relationship. They may even want to keep it private um, because, you know, the Queen and the King of Cups are very private with their, they're very private with their love life. You know, they're not, um, they're not show-offy and I feel like that's what's coming through this Libran. They, they just want to lay low with you and I feel like they're doing it to protect your relationship. Maybe because it's still in those stages of developing stronger emotional connection. Do you know what I mean? Until that strong emotional connection is developed, they just want to remain low and keep your connection private. I, I'm sensing here that they're feeling very protective. Yeah. Um, I feel like this Libra wants to nurture the relationship. They're coming in very supportive of you too. Um, this is someone who like backs you up, Leo. Okay, if you've got a problem, like take it to a Libran and it's a problem sh halved. You know, it, a problem shared is a problem halved. And that's what I'm feeling here with this Libran of yours. Okay, let's take a look at the Scorpio that you're connecting to. Okay, Ten of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Okay, so Leo, this Scorpio that you're connecting to is feeling weighed down by the connection or weighed down by the dynamic. Okay, they are feeling like all of the responsibility is on their shoulders. Okay, they feel like they're carrying the load of the relationship. They feel like they're basically running around after your you know, after you, <laughs> um, because this eight of pentacles is telling me here, they feel like they're doing a lot. I, they feel like they're burning the candle at both ends when it comes to the relationship. It could feel like this Scorpio feels like they can't do enough to please you or appease you or keep you happy. Mm. That's what I'm getting here, Leo. Um, it's kind of like they, they feel torn. I'm getting a sense here that they feel torn. There is definitely a lot going on with this Scorpio. They're one very, very busy, busy person right now. Um, and I feel like with the Two of Swords, it's telling me here that they don't know which way to split themselves. You know, they just they just feel very under pressure, Leo. Um Yeah, so that's all I'm getting with the Scorpio. Sorry, that was a very short message, but that's all I was getting. Okay, so for those of you dealing with a Sagittarius. All right. So we've got the Two of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. So look, as far as the emotion, look, I feel like emotionally um, you connect, um, you get along. There's a comfortability here between you and the Sagittarius. With the ten of cups but i'm sensing that this sagittarius is already out of the picture okay they're already looking elsewhere 
Um, I'm sorry to say, Leo, I feel with the two of wands here that the Sagittarius is making plans to maybe travel. I'm getting or leave. Okay. Or maybe they're, yeah, I'm getting here. See, this two of wands, this is a crossroad. So this Sagittarius is at some kind of a crossroad where they're making plans to leave or to travel. So I don't feel like they're sticking around, but they're here to have a good time with you anyway. I feel like uh, with the eight of wands here, the attraction and the intensity between you is high. You have a fairly good connection here. I'm seeing that the sparks between you fly. Um... But they're focused on something else. Okay, they're focused on their happiness. Um, not to say that you don't make them happy, but right now they're focused on their freedom and their happiness. Okay, let's take a look at the Capricorn in your life. Okay, Page of Wands, Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Interesting. The Queen of Pentacles, this is Earth Energy. Hmm. So I feel like this Capricorn that you're currently dealing with is just kind of focusing maybe on the material world right now. Okay, they're focusing on their business, their career, their home life, their stability. They're all about, you know, their security, their financial security, um, and I'm not feeling like this Capricorn is doing too much other than um, thinking about you. Okay, I feel with the Queen of Swords that this Capricorn is thinking about you. I do feel that there's a, t there's a detached energy between you and the Capricorn in question. I don't feel like there's any communication. I actually feel like this Capricorn is waiting for you, this Page of Wands, to reach out call them, text them, email them, you know, rock around. They're waiting for you, Leo. But I don't feel like this person is making any moves right now. They are thinking about you. Um, it could be that they're chasing some clarity in regards to how you feel. But right now, I feel like you're dealing with a Capricorn that is just yeah, they're not making any moves. They're, if anything, they're waiting for you to make the moves. All right, let's take a look at the Aquarian in your life. Okay, so we've got the Death card. We've got the Six of Cups and we've got the Page of Swords. Okay, there's definitely an Aquarius here that is very interested in you, Leo. This Aquarius um, sees you with the Six of Cups as someone very special very significant they feel like they have a soul tie or a soul connection to you um i feel like they're wondering about you they're thinking about you they could be spying on you uh, they could be watching you from afar um but i feel like this aquarius is thinking about you the connection uh, I feel like they want to communicate, they want to express themselves, they want to talk to you, they kind of want to open up and let you know how they feel. They want to let you in with what they're thinking about this connection and what they're thinking about this relationship. With the death card here, they are definitely wanting, um, they're, they're wanting some transformation to take place. Okay, they're, they're wanting this relationship to undergo some kind of transformation or change. So if you've just started seeing this person, okay, they're, they're wanting to develop something more here with you. They're waiting for something to change. Um, maybe they're waiting for you to maybe show more interest Maybe they're waiting for you to show their, this Aquarius that you're willing to fight for them. Okay, because the Five of Wands, you're coming, remember, you're coming through as the Five of Wands. So they want to see how far you're willing to fight for them. Because maybe, th see, they view you as someone who is very special to them. But maybe they're not sure if they're very special to you. So I feel like they want you to fight for them because that would give them the answers or the information that they need or the clarity that they need to know that you 
think that they are special too. <laughs> Does that make sense, Leo? All right, that's where I'm going to leave it. All right, let's take a look at the Pisces. Okay, they're coming through as the King of Swords, the Three of Cups and the Tower. All right, so look, this Piscean that you're connecting to is very, very distant from you right now. Um, I feel this King of Swords isn't saying too much. I feel like they're currently analyzing you. I feel like they're maybe observing you or analyzing your actions or your moves. They're analyzing what you're saying, what you're doing, what you're not doing, what you're not saying. They're taking it all in and they're just pulling it all apart. Okay, they want to know if you fancy them. They want to know if you like them. Because I feel this Pisces really likes you. The Three of Cups is here. Okay, this is someone who would like to get to know you on a deeper level. Okay, they would like to reunite with you or catch up with you. I feel like this Pisces had a really good time with you the last time that they saw you. Maybe they felt like you were, the, you were detached or you were distant with them the last time that they caught up because I'm getting really beautiful vibes coming from this Piscean. But they're not sure how you feel about them. Okay, there's a lot of uh, tenderness coming through this Three of Cups. Hmm. I feel with the tower, this Pisces is waiting for the current situation to change. Okay, they're waiting for something to change here. So if you're casually seeing them, they want to know, is, is, is this going to be something more? Is this going to change? Are we going to become an item soon? Or are we just going to be a friends with benefits? Or are we just going to just keep casually seeing each other? Like they're waiting for this change to take place. They're waiting for some kind of a transformation here. But Leo, for now, they see you as a good buddy, a good friend. Um, maybe they're putting you in the friend zone even with the three of cups okay if you if this Pisces is currently not talking to you if they are the ones that pulled back they've friend zoned you until they see something change that's what I'm sensing here okay Leo so that concludes your reading let me know in the comment section below how it best resonated for you here today what sign you're currently connecting to and dealing with let me know. Drop the comments in the comment section below, guys, because the more you let me know, the better I can connect to your energy for a more accurate and clearer reading. Um, let me know if you like this kind of reading also, too, because if you don't like it, then there's no point in me doing these readings. So, um, but yeah, that's there you have it, Leo. <laughs> um, until next time, take care. Bye.